Okay guys, so I'm back for another possibly unpopular video about the RCMP and my rant that I did. But this time we're gonna do some facts. Since people really wanna hear some facts, we'll get some facts. So when I talked about the RCMP being ranked, right now as of the last thing that I've seen on online, that with the police force in Canada, they have more than 30 people in their office in pay, RCMP is ranked 77th out of 77. So that's a fact. For the National Police of Nova Scotia, that's where we're at. I do the budget at home. I see what money comes in, comes in from my husband's pay. And I can tell you that it has not increased. He has the same amount of pay as he did in 2008. So that's another fact. Um, I talked about there are being shortages. I don't think anybody can deny that there are shortages. Um, every member, every spouse that I've talked to has said that their detachment is short. My husband's phone goes off every day looking for somebody to come in for overtime. RCMP has been fighting getting a union because they said that police can't be unionized. And right now they're, I think, one of the last police forces to be unionized. Everywhere else is right now. And they are going to get a union, so that is good. But that's probably not even going to come into effect for another, what, two to three years? But it's good. At least they are getting in. But they did fight that for a very long time. So RCMP is very old school in their thinking. I'm saying is they need to come around into what is happening today. And another topic that was an issue is recruitment. So we can't get anybody that to join the RCMP for the reasons that I just stated. They are one of the lowest in pay. Everybody, why would they join an organization with, that's the lowest in pay when they can join another one? They have an ineffective union. They don't have a union in effect right now, whereas all the other police forces do. That's a sense of security for most people. So I just wanna make it known that this is not coming from my husband. He's not complaining. He loves his job. He loves his community. He loves what he does. This is from my perspective, from what I see, from how it affects our family. And I know from other members and spouses that they have the same opinion as me. Maybe they don't wanna voice it, Everybody has an opinion and everybody should be allowed to state their opinion. And this is just mine. You can like it, not like it. This is how it is. And none of the stuff that I've said today have been false. These are all facts. You can look it up. I'm not gonna state the amount of what my husband gets paid or what the Mounties get paid. It's public knowledge. You can go look it up if you wanna see and compare it to what the other um, police forces are being paid. I just think that everybody should be equal in pay at this point, especially for what they do. That's all I'm saying.